So guys, we are in the village of Kona, which is also north um, County Cork. And this is like, again, heading out of Cork to Dublin. You'll be passing, well, you'll be passing, you'll be on a motorway, but you can take an exit and end up here. And um, this um, the Blackwater Valley. I see that you can do the cycle route. Um, village itself, it's a um, couple of houses here, quite tidy. There seems to be like a facility, like a manufacturing facility or something here. And then there's um, yeah, there's a bit of history here, of course, because there is a lot of castles here in the Blackwater Valley and we are the next one, this is like at Castle 4 on today, so we are uh, just trying to get as many of them as possible, I suppose, because the weather is so good and um, they all are relatively close to each other, 20-15 minutes, so there you go. You can see a plaque, there's the history standing dramatically on a rock overhanging the river Bride, actually. Um, so, it was built by Earls of Desmond in about 1500. Five-story tower was partially restored 19th century, um, but retains its medieval character. So let's have a look. It was burned in 1653 when the daughters of the occupant were killed. Quite sad, well I suppose, you know, very few of those castles have a good story, but it's nice and peaceful here. So, um, and this isn't our first visit to Kona because we were in Kona um, last year, where it's uh a house, like a sort of um, 18th century house called Brightbeer House. So I contacted the owner of the house, um, and um, he gave us a private tour. <laughs> And that was a uh, good film, of course, but I did write a blog post about it. And um, so far from here, not far from Connor Village, there's Bright Beer, and they have access to the River Bright, where they can go fishing. And that's actually the rent out rooms and stuff, and um, as a wedding venue, huge grounds there and everything. It's also a very beautiful house, Bright Beer House. I'll put a link to my blog post on it. If you want to check it out or stay there or something or doing a private tour like I did so the guy's name is Ronan very very accommodating and uh, nice guy from Dublin actually works here in Cork bought and restored the house um, a few years ago it's like five years ago or so and uh, yeah but we're back in Connor because uh, I'm doing my projects collecting pictures of all the Cork castles and uh, Connor Castle is in Cork This is about 40 minutes from my home in uh, Balancolic You can also check out some videos about Balancolic if you like Also a very historic village but also a very modern village, you know So here we are through the woodlands and at the, <laughs> the castle tower. Whew. Wow, this is a truly very peaceful here, and at least we could get in here. Some of the castles are just not accessible, even if they're ruins don't belong to anybody and uh, look at the view from here guys imagine living in that tower <laughs> it's a shame nobody buys it restores it to make it a family home maybe I'll be that person if I won the lottery and you could the river is just there behind the branches you could see it shimmering beautiful location altogether it's not so peaceful. So I'm here at the back now of the castle. The door is short, uh, shut and there is no levels in it. Of course, back in the day they would be wooden and 
they would be burned. So I have no access to the tower. Some of them you can actually access and there's still a stone staircase to go through. As you can see the door there now, although there is no lock, but it is blocked off. It's a pretty impressive structure, but what I'm impressed mostly is with the view. But of course I know that a lot of, most of those castles are, and the ruin of the castles are in such a beautiful locations. You know, there's incredible views. Hear the birds singing here, and there's a river in the background. Well, definitely worth checking out to around this area. I'm gonna wrap up and head home. I hope you enjoyed this one as well. See, Cork has a lot to offer. It's not all just West Cork or East Cork. There are things to see and do, and they are free, of course, to discover, and I can't emphasize this enough, to um, my viewers and my readers. I didn't have to pay anything to come out here. You could have a picnic here, stop, or whatever. And, uh, yeah, explore, take some nice shots. Imagine, like, a photo shoot or something. You can also come here and do your wedding photography. No charge. You know, a lot of castles and hotels and parks and stuff, they charge. But if you decided to get married in Ireland, um, for many of you, I got married in Northern Ireland. And um, I went to a place called Florence Court and they wanted to charge me £100 well, <laughs> for our wedding pictures. Uh, I did not pay, needless to say. So we found other locations and we shot beautiful pictures. You can also check out my wedding video on the, this channel if you like and uh, to get to give you an idea so yeah if you get married in a local church or a registry office somewhere here you can come out here and do brilliant shots at no cost whatsoever